keeping an eye on entertainment this morning. You know, it's one of the most watched TV reality series of all time. Big Brother premiering an all new season tomorrow night, right on our sister station, Coin 6. Yeah, so the cast may change, but there is one person who always remains the same. Hi, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother. Oh my gosh, that's, look at that throwback. Great, great. Look at that. Oh my god, look at all these different flashes. All right. So that's Julie Chen Moonves, and tomorrow she is kicking off season 22 of the reality competition series. So Julie joins us live right now with a preview of what we could expect and how production has changed due to the pandemic. Good morning, Julie. Emily, Elise, good morning. First of all, how much time do we have for this segment? Uh, just a few minutes here, but oh my gosh, I am I am amazed watching all of your back-to-back -back seasons of Big Brother. How do you get better looking as every <laughs> season goes on? Oh. Incredible. What are you? Plastic saying? surgery. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. I'm not even lying. You know, I've never been quiet about that stuff. But I want to know, know before Ken, before Ken runs off, uh, is he going to take a nap tomorrow night so that he can stay up for the two-hour live premiere? Ooh. Of what are you going to do, Ken? Are you napping to stay up for Big Brother? I will stay up, I will take a nap, and I will stay up. Okay. Yeah, he caught him behind <laughs> the camera. You. There you go. Thank you. We'll be here. Uh, we have had to deal with a lot, as you know, but because we have been on for 20 years, uh, think about it, ladies. The Big Brother house is the original quarantine. For anyone who doesn't know the concept of the game, you yeah. basically take 16 strangers, you throw them into a house together, lock them up, and the whole goal is they have to compete against one another for power and privileges, but the name of the game is every week we got to vote out one of our own. Hmm. And a bunch of them are going to make it onto the jury to decide who should win. If you make it to the final two, you, make your, you state your case to the jury, and maybe you've not been so good to that person who's sitting there in the jury that you helped get evicted. But the winner, the last person standing, goes home with a half million dollars. Now, because uh, the reason I say, you know, we're the original quarantine is once you get thrown into the Big Brother house, you don't come out unless you've been evicted, voted out by your fellow housemates, or until three months later, you're the last person standing and you go home with the grand prize of $500,000. Yeah. What we've had to do differently because of the pandemic is, uh, number one, we're making it an all-star cast meaning the eight men and eight women moving into the Big Brother house live tomorrow night, they are people who have played the game before. If you have only signed on to Catching Big Brother the last summer or two, even just last summer, you're going to see a returning person that I'm sure you had strong feelings about one way or the other. And if you've never seen, let's say, you know, when we were in the single ditches of a season, you're going to see returning all-star players and you're going to learn firsthand, wow, this is why they asked this person back. They play an unbelievable game and they are so wow. memorable. Now that's exciting. We've, had, uh, we've now had to hold up these people by themselves. We've had to bring in the 16 different house guests and put them into rental houses by themselves for the weeks leading up to tomorrow wow. night and test them regularly for COVID-19. So once we throw them in, that Big Brother house could conceivably be the safest house in the world because they won't have any contact with the outside world. Everyone returning to work, including myself, will be wearing masks. The, uh, the only, I've had tests leading up to tomorrow night. Um, the only time I'm not going to wear a mask is like you ladies and Ken when you're broadcasting. Um, if you can work from home, you do. I pull up to work. There is, it feels like the DMV. I pull up to work <laughs> and in my... In my car, there's like five and a half feet away. It feels like a camera. This device takes my temperature. And then I get a test. And then I go back home and I wait for my test results. And I've been cleared to go on to campus later today for my first rehearsal. Oh my I, haven't even, I haven't even been on the set yet. Uh, I got a so Zoom tour. wild, yeah, to hear how it's everything has, has changed this year. But it sounds like you guys are doing all the right things and, and really kind of staying ahead of the, the quarantine curve here to keep everybody safe. But you did mention something that I think uh, fans of the show probably perked up on this. You're doing live introductions this year, like all of the guests coming into the house. That's going to be live. Ladies, I don't even know, as I sit here and speak to the two of you, 
I don't even know the final 16 house guests who are returning. And I didn't want to know because um, I knew I was talking to you two ladies and I'd be like, yeah, I can't wait to see so-and-so and I would ruin it. That being said, when I go into rehearsal today, re rehearsals today, I will know, but I will be done with um, a live interview like, like this one. So I won't let the cat the 16 cats out of the bag, as they oh, say. Okay, yeah, you won't have us bugging you at that point. You'll be sealed up until tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, so exciting. All right, thank yeah. you so much for that sneak peek, Julie. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much.